ever. I love animals so much. I have three dogs, I have five cats, and two ferrets. With my passion towards animals, I got a job at an animal shelter. I expected it to be animals being rescued, rehabilitated, sent out to great homes. But I started to see different animals being put down for very small, very treatable reasons. They worked a lot with catching ferals off the street, and if they were too feral, they put them down. If a cat or a dog had a call for a sneeze, a limp, or fleas, anything, they put them down. It took too much time, it took too much effort, it took too much money. I actually had a, the, one of the vets, he was working on this one cat who had a, um, a lip deformation. And next thing you know, I see a, a sign up for euthanasia. She had no temperament problem at all. But it was just that one deformation on her lip that just made it unworthy of being saved. If you didn't know what was going on behind the scenes, this place gave the idea that it was a sanctuary. When you're behind the scenes of a shelter like that, you see what they don't want people to see. The company who came and picked up our euthanized animals come with a big basket on wheels, piled up with black bags, and they're hauling them off in the van and they're gone, like they're trashed. This isn't just something disposable, something that you can easily just toss off and not care about. This isn't a shirt, you know? This is an actual life that actually has a meaning on this earth. It's really heartbreaking. Just knowing, like, is this, is this what we do? After leaving that shelter, I sought out Paw Chicago. I've researched them, I, their mission statements their uh, views and values on animals' lives is the exact reason why I came here. They save every animal that they can, every animal that they can, no matter what. They're not for profit. Every dime goes to these animals. It was such a relief to actually find a place that actually did that. Paul Chicago, I've seen hundreds of different cases of ringworm, hundreds of different cases of upper respiratory, kennel cough, FIV, FLV, and every single one of them get treated and get better. And guess what? They get adopted. And guess what? They live out their lives. Paws will take animals that no one else will take. You're gonna be okay, little one. Like Gabriella. Gabriella came to Paws Chicago after having bleach thrown in her face. Despite what a human being done to her, she was still the sweetest dog. Paul Chicago took her in, gave her the surgery she needed, and soon she will be ready for adoption. Here at Paw Chicago, they look forward to saving a life. It's their first priority. I, I love what I do here. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Just save an animal's life. Animals, they look towards humans for that reassurance, for that safety. Who are, who's there to protect them? We are. That's what they're here for. They're our companions. <laughs>